A large wildfire in central Oregon continues to grow this evening, and there's no telling when hundreds of people who were evacuated will be allowed back home. The Millie fire has scorched more than 11,000 acres southwest of Sisters. Just yesterday, it prompted a new evacuation order for the Black Butte area. Meanwhile, winds in the area have crews keeping a close eye on this fire. KGW's Taylor Vido spoke with both firefighters and people who were forced from their homes. He joins us live near Sisters. Taylor. Well, guys, at this point, nearly 700 firefighters are attacking this thing. As you can see behind me, there are some uh, BLM trucks, a Forest Service truck. There are other agencies here as well. Fortunately, no homes have been destroyed. That's the good news, but only a quarter of the fire is contained. Now, as for those who live in this area, they're not sure when they can go home. And here's another thing. This area went through similar wildfire evacuations a decade ago. Homes, you don't want to lose your home but you really don't want to lose the people. It's a road Linda Deneen has been down before. Flames and smoke from a wildfire visible from her back porch. She and her family live in the Crossroads area west of town and were evacuated last Friday. But with the winds being quite exciting, um, you have to go because those winds don't give you much time to move. Also in that area, Todd Nelson. His family was staying in an RV outside of a Red Cross shelter at the local middle school. He estimated the Millie fire as being just a mile and a half from his land. It's scary. A lot of stuff, you know, you want to take the main necessities, and but you think about all the stuff that you grew up with and chance of it all burning down and going away. While mandatory evacuations were in place since last week, new warnings were issued just yesterday. Those came at the popular Black Butte Ranch. People there were put on a level one warning, meaning get ready. Yeah, we could we could clear out pretty fast. I mean, we could clear out in probably an hour, um, and we're out, we're staying on the on the south end of this, so we're the closest to the fire. Now, this isn't the first time this area has gone through this. This is video from 10 years ago when people at Black Butte were forced from their homes. Today, those here didn't seem worried, although the thick, smoky skies were far from ideal. We certainly would have enjoyed it a lot more if it was clear. Back at the Red Cross shelter, Todd Nelson estimated that around two dozen people were staying here just a fraction of the 600 forced from their homes. What's important is, you know, the family's out here and we're all here together. So that's, I think that's the most important out of everything. And happening now, there's a fire information meeting at the high school. It's open to the public. And of course, those who were evacuated are encouraged to attend. Once we're done here, we will head there. Guys. Taylor, thanks very much.